très récente. It was only formulated in 1987, but it's recent. The idea of sustainable development very quickly became fashionable. Everybody went for it. Papers, articles, books and comments were written everywhere, but all individually, each of the authors uh, obeying to his own logic. And research on sustainable development for a very long time was conducted on work using a single discipline, geography, biology, ecology, geophysics, land planning, uh, economy, sociology, political science, sciences, etc. Each of the authors thought, obviously, that his approach was the best. Sometimes uh, transversal, plurial, or transdisciplinary approaches emerged after a conference or a book publication but, or a research project, but nothing that would last in time. The final result was a cacophony, a general mutual misunderstanding. But finally, a research specific to sustainable development progressively emerged, sustainability science, the result of almost 10 years of uh, gestation. An article published in the science Publication in 2001 was signed by 25 authors, American, uh, European, and Asians. What is it exactly? What's new, doctor, as Bugs Bunny would like to say? Why this oddity? Like agronomy or health sciences, sustainability science is a uh, scientific field which is more defined by the question it raises than the discipline it is made of. Particularly, this science aims at interrogating the complex dynamics resulting from interactions between men, societies, and environmental systems. Just to mention, to quote the founding document, the founding article, it's about improving the uh, human society's capacity to use our planet to meet the needs of an increasingly numerous population while preserving uh, the good functioning of ecosystems, especially those which support life on Earth. The science is dedicated to the, com the understanding of the relationship between man, society and environment. Sustainability science, therefore, started looking at the most difficult challenges regarding durability. And this is the reason why the work talks about quick land planning in the world and urban development, the impact of pollution and uh, diseases due to environmental conditions, improvement of uh, food safety and pro uh, agricultural production, better, more efficient use of resources, reduction of environmental inequalities, relationship between ecosystemic services and biodiversity, and finally, the adjustment to climatic changes. Well, it's all very well, but how do researchers working on sustainability science really approach the subject in a concrete manner? Since sustainability sciences are neither fundamental research nor applied research, it's the kind of research that we call involved. It is the kind of fundamental research that is inspired by users. The original term in English was used inspired basic research. For Donald Stock, it belongs to what he uses Pasteur's uh, frame. Sustainability sciences obey to an approach which is very, very similar to uh, Pasteur's work when he developed the microbial theory based on industrial activities, those which led to pasteurization. And uh, he added the microbes to the social corpus in order to uh, repeat what Bruno Latour said. Sustainability science is characterized by a methodological framework interpreting uh, the field and uh, the uh, research object as a complex relationship between man, environment, and society, and uh, looking into the participatory process of political decision-making. One may consider that Elin Rohrström's work leads 
directly to sustainability science, as she liked to say. One of the latest papers going beyond panaceas, well, it's not translated in French, but if we were to translate in French, we could say something like going beyond a ready-made solution, provides keys to understand the social systems which are at the heart of sustainability sciences. And because we wanted to provide a uh, solid frame to uh, sustainable development, the author tried, or sustainability sciences tried to find how to represent, model the uh, earth system, social development and sustainability. How do long-term trends for environment and development model or remodel the relationship between nature and society? Which factors allow to determine the limits of resilience or the sources of vulnerability for interactive systems between man, environment and society? What kind of uh, structural provisions or measures are most efficient to improve society's capacity to generate more sustainable trajectories? Some people justifiably ask, but why keep the word sustainability science in English? It's because um, we have trouble translating it into French. Literally speaking, durability sciences, or rather, sustainability science translated in French by science de la durabilité, refer to something else. They refer to ecology, biology, climatology, and not to the new field of research where human and social sciences are included. So if among the people watching this video, somebody has an idea to translate the term sustainability sciences, would be happy uh, to hear about it. All proposals are welcome. Sustainability sciences over the last decade has become a new field of investigation with a field of investigation which is constantly fueled by scientific production. More and more universities have research centers and provide education on sustainability sciences. There's a program in Harvard, there's the GPS uh, center in the Tokyo University, but there are also similar structures in Europe, such as the Lund University in Sweden, Maastricht in the uh, Netherlands, and also in France with the uh, Yatter and ERCS uh, centers in the Reims University. Yatter and ERCS at the University of Reims.